Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It is another Monday. That means it is Magic Monday. And this time it's full size once again. But unlike most times, I'm going to have probably no clue uh, with uh, as to what the crossover for this one was going to be because we have the Magic the Gathering Universes Beyond Warhammer 40,000 Commander deck. I knew they did a crossover with Warhammer 40,000, and that is the extent of my knowledge of Warhammer. I don't know much about it, but it is magic. It is something I have never seen before. Plus, we're probably going to get Abaddon the, Dis the Despoiler. I mean, that's a title. So just flip it over real quick. And this side is really heavy. It is lopsided as anything. In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. Well, that's something to look forward to. Okay, so basic, like, like I say, I really don't know much about Warhammer. I know it's popular, or at least used to be, but I don't know beyond that. Uh, contents, 100 card deck with 42 new cards, very good. Foil etched display commander, that would be, uh, probably Abaddon. 10 double-sided token cards, plus deck box, love the deck boxes, life wheel, strategy insert, and a reference card. All right, well, that's out of the way. So this, how do you open? Well, this way, apparently. Kids, don't do what I just did. But I am looking forward to it. It's something new. And again, my knowledge of Warhammer is non-existent. So it's going to be fun to see just what this is and um, how the cards look. Okay, so here's the deck box that... Ooh, that's nice. All right, that'll get used. Uh, what are you? I don't know. All right. Uh, there's some tokens, whatnot. Okay, here's all the different tokens. These are for counters. Or as said in an old video, Victory Confetti. Well, I will dig into that. Put that in the box for a minute. I will dig into that in a little bit. Uh, these are always handy. The life wheels. Easy to keep track of. And they go up to 40 because uh, unlike regular base magic, these commander decks, um, I believe you start at 40 health instead of 20 as you do in the base magic gathering. And here we have our little... Is this a poster? Or is, oh, yes. Actually, here's a little info about the guy we're most likely going to get. Abaddon the Despoiler. The first captain of the Sons of Horus. One of the space marine legions that rebelled against the Emperor in the galaxy. One, gal, oh, Jesus. God. In the galaxy-wide civil war known as the Horus Heresy. When his primarch, Horus Lupercal... Oh, man, there's some lore... Oh, and then down here we got Bellacor the Dark Master. Oh, my, oh, my. Okay, this looks like we're going to get some good cards. All right, there's some, 40 th there's some Warhammer lore I want to get into. But we've dithered enough. Time to get to... Really? Yeah, here we go. Time to get to the cards so we can see just what we're dealing with. And, like I say, a brand new set is never a bad thing to look at. Plus, I don't know, it's going to be another rabbit hole to go down and learn some more stuff. So we're going to start off, set that there. Here we are, we've got our two foil, as you can see, I'll turn it this way. The foil etched commanders, we have Abaddon the Despoiler. Beautiful artwork. And... Bellacor, the Dark Master. Yeah. How'd you like to run into that? Well, it seems so weird having full-size magic cards once again. But, our commanders are out. Let's dig in and take a look and just see how these look. First half of the stack. Heralds of, what's this? Uh, Zinch? Alright, we got some dark Nurgle's Rot. <laughs> Nurgle, what a great name. Blood Crusher of Corn. Beautiful. K 
Chaos Terminator Lord. Well, that doesn't sound pleasant. Herald of Slanish. My, yeah, there's a ton of lore that I am missing. Noise Marine. Seeker of Slanish. All right. The Lost and the Damned. Artwork is beautiful. Bile Blight. I don't sh where are these? No, I'll check and see for, they might be rares as well. Bituminous Blast, I almost said Biluminous, but Bituminous. And then we have, what are you, Assault Suit. Artifact, wow, that's cool looking. The Soul Ring. Talisman of Creativity. Talisman of Dominance. Talisman of Indulgence. Aw, Worn Power Stone. Oh, here we go. The fun part, in my opinion, the lands, because they really go all out with the lands. So we have the Baron Moor. That's really nice. Crumbling Necropolis. Molten Slag Heap. God, these are beautiful lands. Temple of the False God. Brainstorm. That's a cool looking one. Dark Ritual. Deny Reality. Oh, don't we wish. Commander's Sphere. Wayfarer's Bobble. I love the word bobble. Another land, the Command Tower. Yep, and this is add one mana of any color of your commander's color identity. So that would be, oops, up there on these commanders. The Dismal Blackwater. Evolving Wilds. These lands, they have their place. I don't particularly care for them, especially in, in Arena. But it comes in, it does nothing except you instantly sacrifice it, it goes away, and then you can bring up... But here's the kicker, a basic land type. Now, basic lands is not any of these. Any land that has any sort of special ability... Or is a dual, like this one, is a mountain and swamp. This is technically not a basic land. So you would have to go for, you know, your basic plain, swamp, etc. for the Evolving Wilds. But still, I know some people get a lot of use out of them. I really haven't used much. Ooh. Lord of Change. Think that might be a rare? Might be. Yes, it is. Ooh. Maybe? No, these aren't rare. Hmm, I don't know. I'll take a look at that more. Blight Grenade. That sounds terrifying. The Great Unclean One. I wonder if he was a... Wow. That's, that's Lovecraftian if I've ever seen anything. Mandate of Abaddon. That's one of the guys up there. Did that say Mandate? Yes. Uh, Mortrarian Demon Primarch. Good lord, look at these. These are stunningly beautiful. Nurgle's Conscription, Conscription plus Nurgle. The Plague Drone. Poxwalkers. No comment. Sloppity Bile Piper. Well, that has a little bit of a little bit of infinity mixed in there. Taliman, Tallyman of Nurgle. Wow, these are cool. Venom Crawler, Aspiring Champion, Bloodthirster, Dark Apostle, Keeper of Secrets, Karn the Betrayer. There are some monstrous looking creatures in here. Night Rampager, Let the Galaxy Burn. Yeesh. Blood for the Blood God. What? All right, hold on. This spell costs one less to cast for each creature that died this year. Discard your hand, then draw eight cards. Blood for the Blood God deals eight damage to each opponent. Exile Blood for the Blood God. Wow. That could be interesting. That I think you would file this one under... This could be a game changer right here. Chaos Defiler. Chaos Mutation. And, I'm sorry I've been rambling, but we have another stack. Oh, Lord. Drak Drak Nien? 
That's a beauty of a sword. Exalted Flamer of Z... Uh, Z I guess Z Zinch? People that know uh, Warhammer, please let me know how bad I'm butchering all this. Hellbrute. We have a, le we have a uh, saga. The, the Horus Heresy. For each opponent, gain control of up to one target non-legendary creature. Wow. That could be fun. Then we got Kill, Maim, Burn. All right. Lucius the Eternal. Magnus the Red. M Mutilith Vortex Beast. Pink Horror. That used to be the Barbie aisle at the toy store. <laughs> the Ruinous Powers. Sangor Shaman. Past in Flames. Decree of Pain. Blasphemous Act. Chaos Warp. Reverberate. Wow. Warstorm Surge. The, wow, the artwork is incredible in these ones. Chromatic Lantern. I'll, this is the first time I've seen an alternate one of these. That's really nice. Okay, some lands. We've got the Exotic Orchard. I wouldn't say exotic. Foreboding Ruins. Sunken Hollow. Forgotten Cave. Path of Ancestry. All right, now we're in the lands. The Swiftwater Cliffs. Wow, Terramorphic Expanse. That is pretty. Okay, now these would be your base, like the Evolving Wild said, your basic land. That would be these. So we've got the mountain. A couple really nice designs. Well, one really nice design. Swamp. Swamps are always my favorite. That's nice looking. Three, four, five, six. Eight of them. And our islands. Ooh, I love the color. The little vortex. Is that the same? Yes, it is. Ah, here we go. We've got the thicker stock, which is purely a cosmetic thing. No, no applicable playing, but... It looks awesome. And like I say, it is a much thicker stock than this stuff. A big fan. And now we have our little tote. Ooh, look at you. We've got the Plague Bearer of Nurgle. One, two, three, four. Okay, we've got five of them. What's on the back of them? A couple Astartes Warrior tokens. And two spawn tokens. That's awesome. And we have a couple more spawn tokens. And on the back, we've got blue horror and more Astartes, war Astartes warriors. And finally, the little reference card. I'll flip that. Pause if you'd like to read that. But... That is going to do it for my first ever, and actually last ever, because I found one of these in the store in Pittsburgh. And that was it. Haven't seen them since. But it was incredibly cool. A lot of beautiful looking cards. Where did the, my favorite land... Ah, this one, I would say, has to be my favorite land, the Terramorphic Expanse. That is staggeringly macabre and beautiful. That said, I hope you enjoyed it, because I certainly did. Another Magic Monday in the books, this time with some Warhammer 40,000, a set, uh, a game I know not much about. But just judging from the looks of it, I think it would be pretty cool. So I'm going to have to look into it. Please, down below, let me know your thoughts. Hopefully all is well. And we will see you next time, everybody.